Founders who skip game theory are basically playing startup roulette with blindfolds on. That's exactly why even founders like Naval swear by it. So here are three game theory principles that can carry over directly into your startup strategy. Hi everyone, today we are going to design a viral animation. So as you can see in the video, there is this circle and this comes up with this person inside. So to make that, what we'll do is first of all, right click new, solid. Make sure it is a bit off white, hit OK to make the background this color, right? Now select the ellipse tool and make sure stroke is black, okay? And now while holding down shift, drag with your mouse like this, okay? Control Alt Home to bring this anchor point towards the center, okay? Now I'll select the fill and make it to light green color like this. Hit OK. Now I'll make sure this, this circle is in the center of the frame. So I'll press this and this okay now for the next part i will be bringing in the person png okay hit s to make it big we want this to align perfectly with the circle so what we are going to do is first put it over here and now just simply fragment this person to the shape layer okay and enable this eye icon so you get this now for the next part i'll just rename this to circle green in the starting the animation it comes up with this text game theory so simply select this person and parent and link with a circle now select this hit p for position hold shift and hit t to open opacity keyframe 2 click on both of these go ahead one second and again click both of them go to the start bring this down a bit and make the opacity zero now select these keyframes press f9 head on to edit speed graph select this curve and drag it towards this left so you get this animation and now for the next part this text now for this animation what we're going to do right select this and then animate okay opacity make this to zero open this range make this zero and this 100 okay when this comes up somewhere around here i'll click on the end keyframe go ahead and make this 100 select this f9 okay let's increase the smoothness a bit okay change this characters to words and then head on to property blur increase the blur okay so it comes up like this then again add property and then position drag this down so you get this smooth animation so let's see the animation okay now after this it will you know change color this circle and go behind and this roulette will will start so first what we have to do is as you can see the text also disappears so from here Simply, I'll just select this game theory text, hit T on opacity, go ahead and make this zero. Okay, so it will fade out. And from here, select this, open this up. Okay, contents, ellipse, fill. Then I'll just simply, you know, keyframe it, go ahead and change the color to red something like this okay also i'll hit scale go ahead make it zero select this f9 and then drag this towards the left 
so we get this animation it's too fast so i'll just increase this okay so it will look something like this and now for the roulette animation i have given you the you know pngs of the roulette so first i'll bring the middle ring or middle layer hit s and make it smaller put it over here okay cover it up nicely then bring the outer layer hit s and then put it over here like this okay so it you know as you can see when this comes down it fades in so we have to simply start fading it from here select these two hit t opacity keyframe go ahead and just click on the opacity keyframe go to the start and let's make this zero so get this animation and from here we have to simply do the rotation okay so to do that it's very simple just first i'll select this middle one okay middle layer hit shift r for rotation keyframe and put it on both of them the middle layer and outer layer go to the go ahead okay somewhere around here and then first we'll rotate our middle layer okay like this and this to the opposite side like this what we can also do is right click new adjustment layer let's rename this to blur head on to effects and presets search for Gaussian blur legacy and put it on this make sure to double click this okay ellipse tool and then select inverted and then feather this out okay I'll head on to effects and presets and search for brightness and contrast and put it on our outer layer. Decrease the brightness and increase the contrast, something like this. So the color pops out more. And after this, as you can see, this text is there startup roulette. So what I'm going to do is basically hit Ctrl D to copy this game theory text. Okay. And go over here hit u select these opacity keyframes and go ahead bring it forward bring this over here okay and hit p for position go ahead And again click the position keyframe go to the start and bring this down select this f9 it is a simple position animation you know it goes up like this okay so this is our animation till now and after this you know it zooms in with this okay new camera hit ok new and null object make sure everything is 3d except the white solid and now make sure to link the camera to the null and after this simply have to select this null hit p for position go ahead and just zoom this in and as you can see here this fades okay or blurs out so what we have to do is basically effects and presets search for Gaussian blur legacy again now let's put it on the middle layer and the outer layer okay and when this starts to zoom in hit u over here okay just basically select this click the blur keyframe go ahead and increase this 
similarly now copy this and paste it on the outer layer too okay we have to also select both of them hit t click on the opacity go ahead and decrease them too like this select them f9 drag this towards the left so the startup roulette text let's bring in the opacity out here okay after this as you can see there's a line striking his eyes so from here what we are going to do select the pen tool make sure fill sorry fill is off and stroke is black increase the stroke now make a line like this okay select this right here blindfold and now i'm going to parent and link it with our person okay so when this becomes big it will move along with it okay simple as that and now for an animation add trim paths simple animation just to go over here click on the end keyframe make it zero at the start go ahead and increase it 200 select this f9 drag this towards the left so get this animation now as you can see this animation is there from here it will go down and this person will come up with this text so basically select this person hit p for position go ahead then we have to drag this down like this as you can see blindfold is still there so make sure to track mat it with the circle to f9 and drag this towards the left and at the same timing the next person will come up which is this founder png bring it to the top do the same thing now so select this founder png and then track mat it with the circle now hit position keyframe go till here make sure you are following these keyframe positions and at the start it will go down and at the end it will be up like this f9 drag this towards the left so we get this animation as you can see there's a color change here too so at this place we'll just simply head back to our circle and then click on this go ahead and then select this color back again okay and as you can see it goes back so we'll do that too but first select this founder click tint or search for tint and put it on this to make it black and white now we have to do the movement again first we need to parent and link the founder to the green circle and now we have to move it so select the green circle click on the position keyframe go ahead let's drag this back and up over here select this okay it's already you know eased in like this so 
our animation will look something like this. This animation will be together while changing. Okay, so yes, and here the text will come Naval swear bite. Okay, so this animation you can do easily this text and for the last part or this animation these coins so what i have done is i have got these pngs from freepick.com okay so you can check out that you know website for high quality vector pngs and now as you can see for this part for the text by yourself it's easy for the you know coins what i'm going to do is basically bring them in hit s make it 3d first Make it small. Select this and let's, you know, first mask it out. Now simply put on tint, select this black color and let's change it to green. Okay. As you can see, you've got this green color. You can also make it red by hitting Ctrl D to copy this, bring it over here and change the color to something reddish. Okay. So, like in this video, you have got this. Now, just right click new text, right here one. Okay. And put it on this. Okay. You can select the colors yourself. Just basically right here one and put it over here. Okay. And can change the color let's make it white okay if you want to make it look more professional and just simply you know select the coin and this hit ctrl shift c and right here one coin hit ok to make it a compound clip and make it 3d again so now you can see we have got this okay you can do with this the same thing by writing here two, okay, and making it a compound clip. Okay, let's keep it till here. So, as you can see in the main video, it is a bit laggy effect is there. So to do that, right click new. I'll bring in an adjustment layer. Okay, effects and presets, and search for posterize time effect. Okay. Put it on this and change the frame rate to let's say 15 okay now you can see there is this slow laggy effect on the video okay like in the main video so hope you learned something new from this see you in the next